Do I even need to say an introduction for this? Do I? The most recognized men's fragrance right now, this. I talk a lot of trash about this, but should I? Is it a bad fragrance? No. No, if anything, going as fresh fragrances, this is one of the best right now. Um, the scent is so strong. It's so, it's strong, it projects the, one of the most, this projects so well, so well. It lasts a long time. It, it probably has the best longevity and projection of any fresh fragrance, period. Does that mean I like it? Not anymore. I'll tell you what, I bought this in August, 2020. 2020, August, look how much I have left of it. Not much, I think I can get one more wear out of it. Maybe, if that, we'll see. I gave a lot, I had like about 15 milliliters left and I gave 10 of it to my grandfather, to my grandfather, cause he loved the smell of it. And I'm like, I'm not, I'm done with it. But this was my signature scent for a long time. Did I get compliments with Sauvage? Nothing remarkable, no. If anything, I got complaints with it. So I haven't smelled it in, well, I can smell it from here. Um, I smelled it off my friend actually the other day, so, but I'm gonna, all right. I don't have much left. Off the top, it's not a bad fragrance. It smells good. It's just heavy on metal and bergamot and ambroxan. I'm not gonna even read any of the notes. Ambroxan, bomb, bergamot bomb, and metal. This is the older toilet. I smelled the other ones, the older parfum and the parfum, but this to me still smelled the best. <sighs> kind of like a little bit of woody, very citrusy, woody. I, I see why people compare it to Aventus a little bit, but it's so strong. God, it's strong. And it's so overused. I, I don't like it anymore. It used to be my signature scent, but my I've changed, okay? I'm not saying it's a bad fragrance. If you wanna buy it, you can buy it, but it's not good for me anymore. I've gr out outgrown it, which is good in a way. When you get into this hobby, you, you'll start to outgrow certain things. Your changes and tastes will change in this hobby. I've literally just he jumped heavy into it in 2021. But now, I don't even like this. And this used to be my favorite. This used to be my signature scent. I used to say, man, I would just wear this forever. And now, be real with you, I mean, it's been outplayed and overdone. It's kind of like John Paul Gaultier Lamel in the 90s, in um, Fahrenheit in the 80s, I think, 80s or 90s. Pretty sure it was 80s Fahrenheit. Um, another one by Dior. It's been outplayed and overdone. Um, and Versace Eros is going to be like that soon, um, which is kind of sad, but then you always have flame and not many people wear flame. Flame is a little spicier, but still great. Uh, but anyways, it's just been outdone. If you're going to buy it, and I said it in the short, buy the elixir. If you're going to buy any of Sauvage, buy the Sauvage elixir. It's the best one out of it. And not too many people are going to wear it because it costs more until it has a discount on it. Not too many people can buy because you get you get 60 milliliters, I believe. Yeah, you get 60 milliliters for 150. 140 is the cheapest you can buy, and it's the, it's it's the best out of them. Out of all the flankers, it's the best one. It costs the most, yes, but to be honest, the Sauvage EDT, it's outplayed and it's outdone, and that's it. That's all I'm gonna say. Remember. Mentally fit, mostly fit, physically fit. I'm out. Hope you guys have a good one. Let me know what you think about Savage in the comments down below. For me, it's outplayed. I'm done with it.